a family favorite, beef stroganoff. Why is it a stroganoff? Because we've got these beautiful mushrooms and we've got these gherkins, which are gonna give us a nice sort of contrast to the rich creaminess of the sauce, nice sort of sweet pickle in there. And we're using some beautiful sirloin steak, which we're gonna trim up, we're gonna bash and slice nice and thin. It's a really fast, fast dish. There's a few key pointers to make it really nice, which I'm gonna show you a little bit later. Really great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen, and we've got a family classic on the menu this morning. Mark, one of my faves, you know, it gets darker faster at night time. This is great, love it. Well, it rock it off. It's great, it's like a really fast sort of stew, nice and creamy, mushrooms in there, gherkins in there, yeah. sweet, sour, beautiful. It's really good, really yeah. fast. And is that paprika? A little bit of paprika, nice. yeah. Nice, yeah. okay, good. Let's get into it. Right, okay, so uh, we're gonna start the sauce first. So you've gotta yep. do this in two stages. Yes. Because you wanna do different uh, temperatures, okay? Okay. What so we're going to do a nice medium temperature now. Bit well, of olive oil. Saute our onions and stuff. Exactly, yep. yeah. So we're going to do that first. Okay. And then whilst we get the beef ready. And then yep. when we cook the beef, we need to get a nice hot um, pan. Okay, nice. That's why we're doing it two separate. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just going to sweat them down a little bit. I've got yep. some garlic in as well, so after about a minute or so, put the, pop the garlic in. Okay. So no colour, just bringing out the uh, sweetness. Cool. And then I've got some um, mushrooms as well, which I'm just going to slice. And you're using Swiss mushrooms, you know, are they Swiss, br Swiss yeah. brown? Yeah, oh, Swiss brown, yeah, you were listening. Ah, Swiss brown, Swiss, Swiss, Swiss. Ah, now, you could use any mushrooms, but why, why do you like the Swiss ones? Oh, just a little bit more flavour. Yeah. Um, any Swiss brown ones. Uh, but mushrooms are fine as well, so just going to yep. chop them up. Don't want to get them too thin, you know, like a little bit of texture in there. Mm -hmm. Right, um, the beef. The beef, okay, so, so we're using sirloin. Yeah, so, so we've got some sirloin. Yep. Uh, so we're going to trim it up a little bit first, and then we're just going to bash it down so we get it a little bit thinner. Oh, I used to do okay. this at home when we had steak at home on the rare occasion back in the late 90s. <laughs> Have you not had a steak so in the late ago, 90s? <laughs> well, no, it was a bit of a delicacy back then. Now, you know, dime a dozen, your old steak. Right, so just sort of just trim it up lightly, yeah. you know, and you get nice... Um, Nice pieces like that. Could you use any steak? Yeah, I mean, you can use eye fillet. I mean, obviously, it's better. You don't need to sort of trim it up. Right. Um, but that is going to be the most expensive steak out there. Okay. So you know, so if you want to splash out, I feel it's really good. But I mean, you know, sirloin is just fantastic as well for this dish. A little bit more texture in the meat. And even rump as well, you know. Nice. Any any steak that you're sort of going to cook, going to still serve it nice and pink in the centre, so you don't want to overcook right. it. So rump's a nice cheap cut, but do you still have to bash it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just okay, cool. still, still bash it a bit and it's going to help tenderise in it as well. So you can just sort of, just lightly bash it, you don't need to do it too much. Great stress relief as well, you know. A bad day at work, you can really, really whack it. There's so much running through my mind I'll just, right now. I'll, I'll just <laughs> roll it a bit, you know, just have, okay. a, bit, have a bit of fun with it. You know, nice. You know, just get it a little bit thinner like right. this, okay? So you don't want to pulverise no, it? No, you don't want to pulverise nice. it, unless you've had a really bad day at work. <laughs> and right. get some frustration. And, and then we're just going to cut it into little strips. Do you want okay. this garlic in here? Yeah, you can put the garlic right, in there cool. now, yeah. Excuse me. Cool. Right, so nice little strip. So you've got good pieces of meat in there, you yeah. know? They're not, not too big, not too small. All nice and even, so that's going to cook all together nice and even. Okay. Right, and then we're just going to do a little really fast marinade for this beef. So a little bit of salt in there, a little bit of the paprika in there. Okay, give that nice smoky flavour. Yeah, nice. and uh, some lemon zest in there as well. Okay, so that is a quick marinade. Yeah, just just a little bit, and you just, it's more like a rub really, because it's all dry. Okay, and you're just going to coat that around, pop a little bit more in there, and then so the onions are nice and sweated yep, down. Good. I'm going to put the mushrooms in now. Cool. And I can turn the heat up slightly. Okay. Just so we get some heat in there, and we're just going to start cooking the mushrooms. Just until they sort of soften, get a little bit of colour in there. Cool. We'll add a knob of butter, which will just help. Nice. Okay. And then once the mushrooms are sort of coloured and then they, they're starting to cook, we're going to take that out. So take it out, cool it down, and then in the same pan we're going to crank the heat up and then we're going to cook our beef and then we'll add it all in and finish the sauce. Brilliant, okay, well we are rocking along here. Don't forget you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Uh, so, uh, we'll come back, we'll see the finished product very soon. I've finished off the mushrooms and the onions and the garlic. Smells good, so we're just putting that to the side. Yep, yep, yep so cool. take that out. Same pan, just give it a wipe out. Just yeah, so cleaned it out for you. Yeah, yeah perfect. If you Turned leave, up the heat. Yeah, that's it. If you leave good. bits of onions in there, because we're going to get high heat, you're going to burn them, you're going to add them to the sauce, make it bitter. So just give it a quick wipe out, um, but you don't need to wash it, that's fine. All right. High heat, a yep. bit more olive oil in there. Cool. And then we're going to sear the beef. So, so just going to make sure it's really, really hot. So it's going to be the same right. as if you are going to cook a steak. Okay, right? so, nice. so think about that. Now, uh, if, you don't, if you weren't here earlier, we've done that with uh, lemon juice. 
lemon zest, yes. paprika, yep. and salt and pepper. Yep, that's yep. it. Yep. Nice. So yeah, so it's just like a, a dry rub. Pan's getting hot now, so you can pop it in. Same thing as well, don't overcrowd your pan. So yep. a nice big pan, there's only a little bit of beef there. If you're gonna do this recipe and upscale it, just do it in stages, take them out, take them out and put them back in. Right. Okay, so put it all in, you're gonna lose the temperature. It's just gonna stew, you're gonna overcook it. It's just not gonna be, uh, not gonna be nice. That is a really good tip, because quite often when I'm cooking a lot of meat, it ends up with all the moisture coming out and they're kind of floating yeah. in the water. And then I have to drain it, so the secret is just to do it batch at a time. Yeah, do it batches okay. and really hot. You can see we're already getting the colour on yeah, there. Yeah, look at that. That's a good vibrant colour yeah. too, isn't so it? So just imagine it's like a little mini steak, okay? okay. So it's not going to take long. Yep. So give it, give it sort of 30 seconds, give it a stir. So you want a nice bit of colour on all sides. Mm -hmm. And then have everything ready to go. Okay. Because this is going to be really fast now. Just nice. getting the gherkins, just going to chop them up. Okay. I don't think I've ever had right. gherkins in a strong enough before. Stuff. Okay, cool. You happen? Yeah, okay. that's good. So we're getting a nice colour. Um, just get those bits so that, you know, once it all goes nice and brown, um, we still want it sort of pink in the side okay, centre, cool. okay? So now we're going to add back to the pan all the onions yep. and mushrooms, what we cooked before. Keep stirring that around. Okay. Brandy. Okay, so I've got a bit of brandy in there, so just be careful. That's just going to deglaze. Mm -hmm. Bring that up to the boil. Yep. And then sour cream. That Ooh. goes in. Okay, turn it down, stir yes. the cream in. I've got more than fog brain now after all those fumes. <laughs> okay, stir, stir the cream in. Okay. Gherkins go in. Get a little bit of lemon juice as well. It's looking good. This is looking Goes like in strong there. enough. And then we've got some chopped parsley just to finish. So you just want to bring the sauce down so everything's nice and coated. If you've got a nice big pan like this and it's really hot and it reduces down a little bit too fast, fast Little splash of water, you can just add, just so you get that nice sauce consistency. Oh yeah, this okay. is looking fantastic. It's looking and like it's strong enough. And that's it. Nice. Parsley goes in there, and that is it. Turn that it off, don't cook it anymore. Give it a taste, you know, a little bit of final salt and pepper if yep. you need it, and that is ready to go. Okay, I'll give, I'll give it a wee taste, ready to go. <laughs> this is smelling fantastic. Mmm. No, it's good. Okay, I like awesome. it. Awesome. Yep, no, beautiful. Good. Really so, like it. And that is, that is how fast that is. You yeah. know, serve it with some rice, serve it with some noodles, serve it with some crusty bed, which we're going to do after. And uh, just have everything ready to go, and it's just like bish bash bosh. So the, the gherkins you put in quite fast yep. and late, so you, they don't have to be cooked or anything? You no, no, like that you, texture? Yeah, you still want that crunch in there, you know? That's going to give you a nice texture, yep. uh, elements through the dish, and it's going to give you that sort of sourness and cooked through the richness. And Brilliant. you can see you've got this beautiful, rich sauce as well, you I know? I love it. Don't have it swimming in cream either. That's that's what you want. Look at this. All right, so just added a touch more sour cream in there, yep. just to make it a bit more creamy, um, and serving it on some crusty bread. And that is a beautiful, hearty, wintry dish. I could have that for dinner any day. Nice work.